ونسلم ونسلم على رسوله الكريم اما بعد اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وما بنعمه ربك فحدث صدق الله مولانا العظيم وبلغنا رسوله النبي الامين المتين الكريم ونحن على ذلك من الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين وفي اعظم من يسر وسام مدد ابلاء دي مدد كعبه امام مدد قادريا من اعلي يا وفي اعظم ميزان من الشيخ احمد رضا خان قطب عالم ميزان سيدي يا مرشد شاه مصطفى خان زند اباد مسلك سرکار اعلی على حضرت زند اباد يا الهي مسلك احمد رضا خان زند اباد حفظ نامو سے رسالت کا جو ذمہ دار ہے سیدی یا مرشدی شاہ مصطفیٰ خان زندہ آباد حامل فیض رضائے مصطفیٰ اندہ دکن صلی اللہ علیہ نبی علی و علیہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم صلاۃ وسلام علیہ کے سیدی یا سندی یا حبیبی یا فبیبی یا رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم علی کا و اصحاب کا یا رحمت العالمین اور پھر اس اس گیٹ میں چی اللہ The Lord and Salaam is upon the most perfect, exalted, and glorified of Allah's creation. Sayyiduna wa Mawlana Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. His blessings and salutations upon the Anbiya Karam and Nibayat Haq. Sahabai Karam, Khulifah Rashidin, Tabi'in, Tabi'i Tabi'in, Aymai Mujtahideen, Awliya Kamilin, and all those who follow the path until the last day. We thank Allah through His infinite mercy and through the Wasila of Rasulullah Akram, Nur and Mujassam. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for calling us the opportunity to come again to Salat al-Reeb and to remember him and his beloved Rasul Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on this blessed and this Mubarak day of Eid al-Fitr. Alhamdulillah, Tumma alhamdulillah, after completion and completion of 30 days of the month of Ramadan al-Mubarak, we have been blessed to the day of Eid al-Fitr. Indeed, it is a day of Eid. And Eid refers to the day of rejoicing, the day of happiness, the day of barakat, the day of rahmah, the day of maghfirah, the day when Allah's mercy descends in abundance upon His servants who strive for the entire month of Ramadan to fulfill their responsibilities in His most divine court. Throughout the month of Ramadan, the Muslims fasted and abstained from that which is generally legal upon them in any other time of the year. From the time of Suhoor to Liftar, we abstain from eating, we abstain from all those other legalities which are legal during any other time in the life of a Muslim. And all this a person does for the pleasure of Allah. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. All of this is for the pleasure of Almighty Allah and as a reward, as the first reward, one of the first rewards, as one of the first rewards after the completion of Ramadan, Allah blesses the believers with the day of Eid. Allah blesses the believers with the day of Eid and Allah Almighty commands us in the Holy Quran that we should publicize well His favors. That is why on the day of Eid we recite the Tanbirat. That is why on the day of Eid we have been commanded to come from one direction and to return from another direction so that the Shah of Islam is shown. So that the alamat and the tariqah of the believers is visible to even the kuffar. And so that people may see what is meant by rejoicing. We say this always that there is a difference in rejoicing. There are those who rejoice by making guna. And we should not allow ourselves to be included in that. There are those, unfortunately, who think that the first day of Shawwal, Allah forbid, is a license day to sin. But the first day of Shawwal 
is the day of the result of the 30 days of Ramadan. What you do on the first day of Shawwal will show whether you were successful and I was successful in Ramadan or not. If we start doing guna on the first day after Ramadan and we start acting contrary to the commands of Allah and His beloved Rasul Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam then no, you have not been successful in the month of Ramadan. What have the scholars said about a haji sensing whether his haji is kabul? The mashayikh have said that when he returns from haj, if he is better than what he was before he went, then his haj is kabul. But if he is worse than what he was before, then no, he has lost the blessings of his haj. Likewise with the month of Ramadan. When this month has left us and it has departed and this day of happiness has come, then if somebody decides to do haram on this day, if somebody decides to disrespect his and her parents on this day, if somebody decides to consume alcohol and drugs on this day, thinking that now Ramadan is over, I can do what I used to do, then truly we have not benefited from it. Anybody who does this has not benefited from the month of Ramadan. Reflect on this day. It is a day of reflection. It is a day of thought. It is a day of remembering those who are less fortunate than us. It is a day not to forget your deceased that have left this dunya. It is a day to go to the Qabristan. If you went to the homes of your parents and said Eid Mubarak to them, on the day of Eid, they are waiting for your Eid Mubarak in the Qabristan as well. Do not forget. Do not forget for their rooms are alive. They have already visited your homes and they will visit. It is proven from the Hadith and Mubarakah that on the day of Eid, the rooms of the deceased come to the home. They come to the home and seek your dua. They seek your blessings. So do not forget on Eid day also. At least pick up Surah Yasin and make some recitation. Recite some tilawat, make tilawat of the Quran. Read some Duru Sharif. This has been a tradition in our community. The elders would make Fatiha in their homes on Eid day. Either before they came for Eid or after they returned, they would first make Fatiha. They would distribute whatever sweets they are after remembering their deceased. After remembering the Imam of the beloved of all the Ambiya, the beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Ambiya, and through their sadka, remembering the Mahomes and sending sawar to them, do not forget this. Do not forget this. Because if you do, then you have lost a great share of this day. And Imam Al Ghazali radiallahu and taught us something very important which we repeat every year. Imam Al Ghazali radiallahu and taught that on the day of Eid, if you recite 300 times, Subhanallah wa bihamdihi. This is one tasbih that has been explained in the Hadith Sharif that it is very, very smooth on the tongue. It is very easy on the tongue. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi. Every of us should read it 300 times on the day of Eid. If you recite this 300 times on this Mubarak day, Allah will fill the graves of your marhums with nur. Allah will fill the graves of your marhums with Noor, with the light. And if you do this sincerely, and I do this sincerely, then when we pass away, and the day when we are put into our graves, when none will be there for us. When the day that we will be put into our graves, when everybody will put us six foot down, cover up and leave. At that time, because of that 300 subhanallahi wa bihamdihi which you read, for your marhums on Eid day, that nur will enter, 1,000 nurs will enter your cover on that day. 1,000 lights will enter your cover on that day. So if you read for your marhums, at the same time, you are inviting 100 lights into your grave when you leave this world. And always remember, it is the hadith, it has been clearly mentioned in the hadith, that when somebody sends sawab to the deceased, then the one who is the sender receives equivalent to the recipient. The one who is the sender receives equivalent to the recipient. 
In other words, if somebody got one three hundred sawab of ten thousand noor, you read one Quran for the Mahmoods, you get equivalent. There's no shortage in reward. There is no shortage in reward. So this day is the day of Eid. It is the day to reflect and remember our own weaknesses. It is the day to put into practice the special training that we had for thirty days. Thirty days of spiritual training. You know, people are often quite, nowadays I'll use the word erratic, about how they do certain things. Those who are going to gym, that is the most important thing for them. Those who are doing some fitness, they find that is most important to them. Why? Because they feel if we're healthy, we can do certain things. And it's true, if you're doing it in the right way. If you are healthy, you will be able to do certain things. If you look after your health, you will be able to do certain things. Like example, if somebody is diabetic, now he has a whole two liters of cold drink. What benefit? Nuksan to hoga. After that, he's going to go and fall asleep. What can he do? So you look after your health. It is both Islamic and medical. You take care of your health and you can be more beneficial to yourself and to those around you. That is why prevention is better than cure. Okay? But people are very particular about what they do today. If they have a certain routine that they want to follow that routine, they want to make sure that they finish their exercise. If they do training once a, one hour in a day, come hail or high water, one hour they must go and do the exercise. But more than any physical exercise will benefit us our spiritual exercise. More than any physical, yes, physical, yes, for the right reasons. But more than any physical exercise will benefit you your spiritual exercise. Because the physical body, no matter how strong you make it, if there is no ruhaniyat, when it enters the ground, it will become the food of the maggots. It will become the food of the worms. But those who through spiritual exercises became Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jilani. Who became Sultan al Hind, Khaja Khalidan, Khaja Mahinuddin, Chishti, Ajmeri, Sanjazi, Radiallahu Anh. Who became Imam Ahl Sunnah Ala Hadrat Adi Mubarakat Radiallahu Anh? Who became Hosul Wakt Hudure Mufti Adam Radiallahu Anh? Who became Hudure Taj Sharia Radiallahu Anh? This is why that after they leave this dunya as well, through the sadqa of the beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, their jism Mubarak is as it is when they were in the dunya. Why? Because not only physical, but they bothered more and they worried more about spiritual. And today is the day of spiritual exercise. Thirty days. Allah has blessed us with nurturing ourselves spiritually with namaz, with taraweeh, with fasting, with giving sadaqat and zakat, with giving khairat and doing so many amali saliha. After Ramadan, we will see the result, we will get our result card. After the exam, you get your result, your report card. And then each person waits to see the report, when he opens the report, what it says. But what is the report card of the end of Ramadan? Each of us look into our hearts. Each of us needs to look into our hearts and we will understand what is our report card for Ramadan. Each of us ask ourselves that, and a lot of it has to do with the reflection of our behavior today. You walk into the masjid and you start swearing at somebody. Kya fayda? You go home and instead of just greeting your family, you are fighting. Instead of going to the Kabrastan and making dua for your marhums, you are sitting with your friends and having some drugs. And I'm being blunt about this because it's happening. It's happening in our community. I want to go and start gambling. I want to start doing this haram and that haram. Think about it. Allah has given you so much of time to change. If you cannot change yourself in the month of Ramadan and I cannot change myself in the month of Ramadan, when will we do? Let's understand that Ramadan has been a spiritual training ground and a spiritual class for us. And the day of Eid is the day of blessing and reward. If we have really benefited in Ramadan, and we were sincere in what we did in Ramadan, then indeed for every one of us today is Eid. Indeed, in the real sense, today is a day of rejoicing. Have we forgotten that Sayyidina Shaykh Abdul Qadir al-Jilani al Baghdadi radiallahu anhu, Eid doesn't forget to finish without this water. That Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jilani radiallahu anhu was sitting at the doorstep of his home and people were walking past and they found him in a very humble state weeping 
And they said, oh, Sayyidina Shaykh Abdul Qadir al-Jilani in Baghdad, this is the gist of the waqiyah. Radiallahu anhu. Why are you in such a sad state? Why are you in such a humble condition on the day of Eid? And Hazrat Sattari Shaykh Abdul Qadir al-Jilani in Baghdad, he said, that my Eid will be the day when I meet with my Creator. Oh, Allah, Allah. My Eid will be the day when I meet with my Creator. And my Creator says to me, oh, Abdul Qadir, you have come to me successfully. Allah, 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 Allah. 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 Then on this day, there's a beautiful narration that I narrate every year on Eid, and I'm going to end with this narration today. Of how important it is to look at the less fortunate. We should always learn in life, never look, at, look down on those who are less fortunate than us. Sometimes we all start from humble beginnings. People start in their life from humble beginnings. Not everybody drove a good car. Some people are lucky enough, they're born with a golden spoon in inverted commas. That's their example. But not everybody. Almost everybody starts from humble beginnings. Okay? But the sad state of affairs is that even some of those who have started from humble beginnings forget their humble beginnings. When they become wealthy, they forget their days of poverty. They forget their days of difficulty. This is the day to remember it. Remember the day when you did not have 10 rands in your pocket. Remember the day when you would think, how would I put fuel in my car? Remember the day when you would think, how would I provide for my family? Today is the day to remember that. Today is the day to remember that. If we forget these things, then we have been unsuccessful. And I said that today we visit the houses of all our relatives. We visit all our friends. But again I reiterate and I emphasize, do not forget to visit those who have left this dunya. Do not forget the door of the Kabristan and the gate of the Kabristan. For you may avoid visiting all of them, but one day you and I will need those visits also. We will need those visits also. How would you feel when the day of Eid comes and nobody will come to your cover and pick up their hands? Nobody will send sawab to you. If this is how you want to be, then remain as you are. Remain as you are. But if you wish for the people to be making dua for you and for your family to raise their hands on these Mubarak days, then you too do the same. Allah's mercy will descend in the mind. On this Mubarak day, the great Imam of Tasawwuf, Hazrat Sayyidina Imam Sarri Sakati, radiallahu ta'ala an, Sarri Sakati radiallahu an is that great Imam who is the Murshid, the Shaykh Kamil, the spiritual guide of the guide of guides. Hadrat Sayyiduna Imam Junaid al Baghdadi. He is the. Now think about who the personality is. When his murid is Junaid al Baghdadi, then how the peer must have been. When the murid is Junaid al Baghdadi, then how the peer must have been. Hadrat Sayyiduna Sari Sakti radiallahu ta'ala is the Shaykh al Amin of Hadrat Junaid al Baghdadi. Hadrat Sari Sakti radiallahu ta'ala says it was the day of Eid. And I humbly request, listen with your hearts. It is the day of Eid. And Hadrat Sarri Sakti radiallahu anh, leaves his Mubarak home. And as he's going towards the Eid prayer area, or towards meeting the people, he sees an amazing sight. On the day of Eid, he sees a man picking dates what is it? Eid day. Eid day, he sees an elderly person collecting dates, gathering dates. And he looks at the elderly person with the love and affection and honor and respect. And he says to him, Oh, pious servant of Allah, why are you collecting dates today? It's the day of Eid. People collect dates when they need to sell them. People collect these dates on the day of work when they need to earn something. Why are you collecting dates today? He said, Oh, Sarri Sakti, look at that young boy. Look at that little child. He is weeping. 
Because today on the day of Eid, every child is wearing a new set of clothes. But that child cannot afford it. That child cannot afford it. And he's weeping. And today, I too do not have sufficient that I may just assist him. So I'm gathering dates. I will take them into the marketplace. I will sell them and I will buy him a kurta. I will collect dates. I will take them into the marketplace. I will sell them and I will buy him a jubba. I will buy him a kurta. Hazrat Sayyidina. Sarri Sakti radiallahu an. When he hears the words of this pious elderly person, his eyes are moist. His heart begins to tremble. Because this was not any ordinary old man that was collecting dates. It was the Murshid of Sarni Sakti. The Grand Murshid of Junaid al-Bakhtad. Is that Wali Kamil at whose Mazar Sarkale Jose Park used to go and do spiritual training. He used to make Huzur Sarkari Hosepat used to go and make Muratiba and Mujahida in the Mazar, the Mazar area of Hadrat Sayyidina Maruf. Karhi radiallahu an that Maruf Karhi on the day of Eid is collecting dates and saying that I want to take the money for these dates and I want to buy a kurta for this little child who cannot afford a kurta today. Hadrat Sayyiduna Sarri Sakti radiallahu an says, When I heard this from the lips of my Murshid Kamil, I said to him, Huzur, please refrain. You do not have to collect dates today. Today I will take him on your behalf and buy him a kurta. Today I will take him on your behalf and I will buy him a kurta. Hadrat Sarri Sakti Radiallahu holds the little boy's hand and he takes him to the market and he buys him the best chukba. He buys him the best outfit for Eid day. And the boy starts to smile and glow. And Hadrat Sayyiduna Sarri Sakti Radiallahu says, that when I fulfilled this responsibility which my Shaykh Kamil had taken on the day of Eid, the moment I bought him the kurta, I felt nur entering my heart. The moment I bought him the kurta, I felt nur entering my heart. Now we first told you about the manner of attaining nur in your grave. I just told you how to attain nur in your heart. Look at somebody who loves you. Give somebody who is less fortunate today. And you will see Allah's mercy will descend upon you. This is indeed a day of kindness. It is a day of generosity. It is a day of pleasure and happiness. It is a day of remembering that we are the Ahlul Sunnah. Today we should remember and we should be proud that we are amongst those people who have great Imams like Hosea Azam Jilani. We have great Imams like Junaid Baghdadi. Great Imams like Maruf al Karki. Great Imams like Sarruddin Sarri Sakti radiallahu anhu. We have great Imams like Imam Ahl Sunnah, Ala Hadrat Adim al Barkat radiallahu anhu. We have great Imams like Huzur al Mufti Adam Him and Huzur al Tabi Sharia. And we still have great Imams walking this earth like Huzur Sayyidi wa Sanadi Sarkari Muhammad Sayyidi. We should be push nasib and fortunate. Yeah, Hamara Haq. This is our share. This is the share of the Ahl Sunnah. And that is why, Alhamdulillah, the masajid of the Ahl Sunnah are where the Sunnis need to be. Places of the Ahl Sunnah are where the Sunnis need to be. Remember, Eid is Eid when your unity is with those who truly believe in Allah and Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Those who believe that Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is Hazin and Nazir. Those who believe that the beloved Nabi is in Medina. But today, after Namaz and Eid, when we stand up and send salutations, the beloved Nabi is Nazir and Karami is aware of our condition. Then we know that we are celebrating Eid. And inshallah, after Eid Salah, we will stand and we will send salutations, inshallah, in the court of our beloved Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Because his birth, the Mawlud of the beloved Nabi, is the greatest Eid through which we got this Eid. So on this day, you may forget everything, but we cannot forget our loyalty in the court of the beloved Rasul. Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam. How, how sad the state of affairs that those who claim to be the Ummah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they may be even coming to the masjid and such people are not even welcome in our masjid. That they may enter the masjid and when the time for salatu salam comes, then they run out of the masjid. This is the job of shaitan. Ashik's job and one who is ashik, 
The one who is a hashik is one who seeks out the honey of love. That where they see sweetness, they will go in that direction. Run away from me. And wherever we hear, Ya Nabi Salaam Wherever we hear, Mustafa Jami Rahmat, it is the sweetest thing for our ears. And we are immediately attracted in that direction. So make sugar, we are from amongst those people. Eat, make sugar, we are from amongst those people. Allah bless us with strength in Iman. Allah bless us with the true love for the beloved Rasul. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Make special dua today For all the mahfums of the Ahl Sunnah Special dua today I request you To make dua for my beloved mother and my beloved father Allah exalt them in general All your parents, your brothers, your sisters Your family members, your wives, your husbands Whoever have passed away in Ahl Sunnah I sincerely make dua from the depths of my heart That Allah grants them a thousand rules in their Qabr May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Make the day of Eid on the Zameen A day of Eid in the Qabr for them as well May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless the Muslims of the dunya. May Allah protect the Muslims of Palestine. We make dua for them. And may Allah destroy the Yahud. May Allah destroy those who raise their hands against the Ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send his ghazab and his azab upon those who dare raise the fingers of the masajid of Islam. We make dua in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah protects the lives and the wealth and the izzat and the honor of the Ahl Sunnah throughout the world, especially the Muslims of India who are going to calamity and destruction right now. May Allah destroy the forces of Islam who are harming the Ahl Sunnah wa Jamaat. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give the land of Palestine back to the Palestinians. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remove the Najdi Bala from Madinah to Murawwara and from Makkah to Murawwara, Makkah to Mukarramah who have no shame and are building cinemas on the land of the Bilal Rasul. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Today is the day of Eid, it is a day of happiness, but it is a day of grief in our hearts. That when we have to see that those lands which are the holy lands are being sacrificed by the Kuffar for the sake of their dunya, Yet that is the land, the same land where you are stopped from saying as salat was salamu alayhi ya Rasulullah. The same land where you are stopped from saying ya Rasulullah unzur hadana. We are stopped from saying as anta shafa'ata ya Rasulullah. The so called leaders of that land are bringing the kuffar into the haramain tayyabain. They are bringing that which is haram into the haramain tayyabain. It is a time on this day for me to remind you wake up. It is time for the Muslims to wake up and realize that there is only one Islam and that is the Islam of the Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. There is only one Islam and it is the Islam of the Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah and there are only one set of Muslims that those who are the slaves at the court of Sattari Shaykh Abdul Talib and the slaves of Sattari Khaja Gharib al Nawaz and the slaves of the Awliya and this was the tariqah of our pious predecessors this was the tariqah of our forefathers this was the tariqah of our pious ones and remember this is what we have been talking in our children tomorrow somebody may say Aftab is being extreme if protecting the Imam of the Ahl Sunnah and saying what his heart is extreme then I am extreme I accept. I accept it, but inshallah, this so called extreme that we show, this is not extreme. We are not going to kill people, that is extreme. We are not doing what the Wahhabis are doing, that is extreme. What we are doing is we are instilling the extreme love and the intense love. Subhanallah. 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 This is what this day of Eid is to remind us who we are. Don't lose your identity. Don't lose your identity. When you walk out this masjid today, walk out proudly saying, I am a Sunni. Subhanallah. Walk out proudly saying that I follow Hosea Azam. Walk out proudly saying that I'm going to the grave of my parents. I'm not a Tamar Bujari. I'm that person who takes my hand and Allah gives them. Subhanallah. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed to say you are Sunni Sahib Latina. Don't be ashamed to say you are Qadri. Don't be ashamed to say you are Chishti. Don't be ashamed to say you are Saharbandi, Nakshabandi. Don't be ashamed to say you are Razavi. Don't be ashamed to say you are Barataki. Because these rivers are there which will take you to the ocean of the love of Allah. It is very solid. It is day of Eid. It is a day to remind and reflect. And I remind you, do not allow ourselves to fall for the trap of these Saudis. For some who took Kehti, Hayy Khadi, Kitab. ہے مصر یہودی یہ سعودی کی آزاد پڑھتا ہوں تو کہتی ہے یہ خالی کی کتاب ہے مصر یہودی یہ سعودی کی آزاد اس قوم کے بارے میں کمر کیا لکھے تابا کے کمائی سے جو پیتے ہیں شراب تابا کے کمائی سے جو پیتے ہیں شراب
May Allah protect us from them. And may Allah keep us from on the way of the